Unfortunately, today, we live in a world where we're all tied to our smartphone, we're all texting, we're all emailing. And I have found today that students are not as good an interviewer in person in, in their verbal communications as we were when we came out of school. Um, I think it's great that you can text, I think it's great that you can write and short, but, but you have to have the ability to look someone in the eye, communicate, and tell them why you're the person for that job. And you have to be comfortable, and you know, so to me, the art of the conversation is lost, and those students that sit across from me, or when we have a position available, where I could say, you know what, this kid's gonna be on the phone trying to sell something, and he's a really good communicator. And, and that's what we look for, really. You know, I go back to, it's, it's an industry of people, and I don't, if they said, if Microsoft announced tomorrow that they're stopping email, I wouldn't be that upset about it. Because to me, you know, I enjoy talking to people, I enjoy meeting people, and email and texting is kind of a shortcut and, and a lazy way out. And, and so if you are, I, I really, as, you know, when I go up to Syracuse and talk to students, I, I really try to drill into them, communicate verbally, pick up the phone, write a handwritten note. It's, it's really, it sticks out. I, I get over 200 emails a day. I don't want another email of someone telling me what a, they had a great, uh, you know, great experience meeting me. Or an, I, I'd rather get a handwritten. I'd rather get something that would stick out.